Yes, so as I was alluding to earlier, indolent systemic mastocytosis is not currently treated with targeted therapy. Uh, it's treated with, as I said earlier, a variety of agents directed at, at managing symptoms and sort of controlling uh, symptoms of the disease. We're not using any drugs that get at the root cause. Uh, and note also that around 90% of systemic mastocytosis is indolent. So abapritinib has the potential, of course, to address uh, an unmet need in this population. Uh, and it is being studied right now for indolent systemic mastocytosis uh, in what is known as the pioneer trial. This is the pivotal study of abapritinib in indolent uh, SM. And it really seeks to enroll patients who uh, have persistent symptoms uh, of, of a certain uh, degree of severity, uh, um, uh, despite uh, at least two best supportive care medications. There is a questionnaire called the ISM-SAF or ISM symptom assessment form, and uh, the symptoms are recorded on that. Uh, and the primary endpoint uh, for the blinded phase, which is the part two of the avapritinib trial, uh, is at 24 weeks. At 24 weeks, uh, it's a two-to-one randomization between avapritinib and placebo uh, uh, to see if there is at least a 30% improvement in symptoms uh, uh, as calculated by this, uh, this uh, questionnaire. Uh, so this is a trial that's actively enrolling. The dose of ibuprofenib has already been established uh, from part one of this study, and it is only 25 milligrams, just 25 milligrams daily. So one eighth of the starting dose in advanced SM, which is 200. So uh, we expect an excellent uh, safety and tolerability profile at this dose, and we will see what uh, the efficacy results bring. 